to check the brakes? <laughs> so welcome everyone to a very, very special episode because it's not every day when I get an old project car back in my garage. And I'm super excited because this is a 1999, I think, I can't remember. It's a Dodge Grand Caravan or a... Plymouth Grand Voyager Espresso. I wasn't really too sure on that, but it was the car from Pimp My Ride, and it was the car that uh, got number one on trending, over 23 million views on the series, and honestly, it was a lot of fun to do. But that was quite a long time ago, and since then, this van has seen... Well, it's seen some better days. This has been in Tyler Hoover's possession, then it went to a museum, and then it just sat in a barn for a while, and uh, it looked like some animals were uh, running across it, and then uh, somebody ran it into something. I don't know, we're gonna find that out today. We're gonna get this van running because it doesn't run. We're gonna make sure everything inside works because nothing works on the inside, and then we're gonna take it for a test drive because I have some big plans for this van, and those are coming up at the end of the episode. Episode. But in order to get all this done, we need some tools. And since Craftsman is today's sponsor, they sent me over their new V-Series professional line. And we're going to use these to get this car back into shape. I love new tools. Okay, going handheld so we can see the full extent of this Pimp My Ride hotness. Now, to evaluate everything on this car and what we need to do in this one day. I have my friend Jack. What's up? What's up? What's going on? You as a professional body guy that is no longer professional, I think you should go over this car and tell us what uh, what it needs uh, to be a showroom example. It's not bad, it's just, it's ugly. How How it's, dare you? It's, not... how d it's purple and pink, How d it's not ugly. My daughter, the first car she noticed when she walked into the shop was this one, so. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is this is exactly the car you get for a four-year-old. Isn't this like, this was something they actually made and it's it's a, it's a rare kit? Yeah, I believe this is a Serona body kit. As you can probably guess, they didn't make many of them because the market for Dodge Caravans, not huge in the modification scene. They probably sold enough to pay for the mold. I sincerely doubt that. Probably not. There's a little bit of damage here that we can fix. I mean, the screws came out. It's kind of hanging loose. Uh, you could tell where they impacted down here. You painted this uh, when you first got it. So. Yeah, this was actually all broken apart. And I think this was just hit or something. They scraped it and it just cracked the fiberglass. And then that brought this uh, out. It's got a little dent there where it pushed it up into it. Mm -hmm. and looks And when, when stuff like this happens, you always got to remember the whole panel's going to shift. So I mean, it even it pushed it out here and then in here. So it kind of did one of these. Yeah. So I mean, it's not too bad. We can fix that. That's not. That's nothing major. We just pull it out, straighten it up as best as possible. But we can get it looking good again, looking pimped. You can't say that anymore, right? Yeah. Like that's not a that's not a term it, people like, say. Do we do we pop our collar? Is that is that no, how we do this? Oh my! How old are you? Ever since I was a youngin, I've been popping my collar. That's that. Oh my! You're so <laughs> old. This has a little detail from the mini trucking scene. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Can you can you see what that is? Yeah, I actually remember doing graphics like this probably twenty years ago. Well, other than the tribal graphics, do do you notice a lack of something here? The, the smooth yeah. exterior, shaved door handles is cool. It is, other than the fact that this is a minivan and you probably need to get in. <laughs> but this actually had a retrofitted uh, power door and they didn't have those back then. Now they're commonplace, now every minivan has them. But back in the day, they had to make this custom and that was a really, really big deal. Now the power door does not work because uh, none of the power stuff works because uh, the battery, actually both batteries are dead. So that's how I got the <laughs> car. As far as how the car looks, it's still kind of retained its original look. It's just weathered a little bit. But, mm -hmm. I mean, we can clean this up. We can make this look good. Well, you're not the detailing. Not me. Right. Not no, me. you're not, not going to clean this I'm up. I'm not doing this. Yeah, you're not doing like, it. Yeah. But, Rex. <laughs> Can I help you? So Rex was the guy that got this back to its original Pimp My Ride hotness because this was, I think, the second car that you've done at the shop? Yeah, I think so too. I think I did the Lamborghini first and then this nightmare. It, 
how how dare you? I think we'll just yeah wash it. I mean it's a little bit hazy on the hood, so we'll single mm -hmm. touch polish it. But other than that, I think you haven't seen the inside though. I don't want to see the inside though. Let's go see the inside. No, let's not. Oh boy! Whoo! Look at this. I told you not to look at the inside. It it smells like the '90s in here. <laughs> It's uh, so they made these seats out of denim. Really cool. Other than the fact that denim fades and it also stains really weirdly. Um, so is that stain uh, still there? Uh, yeah, from, it's yep. right here. Yeah. Well, no, there's there's one in the in the in the middle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's, there's yeah. A, there's a, yeah. I don't know what that is. I I do. If you look down here, there's a bunch of trash. Uh, this is part of the door panel that's kind of falling off. So. We need to clean this all up because uh, back here, that's where the magic happens. And it's a little bit like stuffy in here, but I feel like we can air it out. I have an ozone machine that we can use in here. Yeah, I really need that too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really smells like some magic really happened in here. It does. It smells like 24 karat <laughs> magic in the air. And I say that because there's a jewelry making station right there. Yep. You see the drop down monitors that are no longer working. Um, and. You can tell that they don't work because it's if you yeah, it's dead. dead. There is one battery in the front and then another one back there. And we're going to replace both of them. Yeah. And we might have to take some of the stuff apart using the Craftsman tools. You haven't seen the stereo. No. Actually, you haven't seen the stereo in a while. You've never seen the stereo. I've never seen the stereo. OK, so you love mini trucks and stuff, right? Absolutely. OK, I still this, love mini trucks. this this is going to blow your Noodle. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. Dude, this was that 2002 is... right here. <laughs> that is tough. <laughs> so do you like the hater vision right here? Uh, you gotta love that, dude. That way you pop, you pop the trunk. That was a Houston thing, but I mean, I lived in Houston for a year, so I kind of, that, that stayed with me. Let's jump this car and then uh, see what works, what doesn't. I'm gonna get new batteries. Give it a once over, do a test drive, and then test drive all of this. That, what? Dude, that's nice, actually. They covered it, look. They did. Is that Alcantara? It's, it it's, like it's, it. it's probably, it's probably suede. I don't think Alcantara was invented back then. Falcantara? It's Falcantara. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the inside of a Pimp My Ride minivan. I have a Lexan floor. I have a footrest that is a monitor that weighs 3,000 tons. And I also have a wraparound denim couch. Now what you may not know is that there is actually a second battery in here. And the way you get to it is you, you pop this guy off, you lift this up. There are some tolerances here. And now you have access to the second battery. And uh, it is actually welded in uh, with some really nice brackets. And to get this off, we're gonna be using the new Craftsman V-Series ratchet. Now, I've been using Craftsman for as long as I can remember. Since before I started working on cars, I've always had, you know, that old Craftsman set uh, in your house, but they just made a new professional line. And this is really, really good quality. It's a 96 to three and three quarter degree arc swing. That's, that sounds real good. It feels very positive. Everything is very tight and working on anything. 
I mean, that feels like quality. Now, another thing I really like is that the carrying case has everything in size order. And this is actually the handle for the carrying case. So I, I love dual purpose things. Uh, when you put everything back where it should go, boom and boom, close it up. I like this a lot. This van is looking already much, much, much better, but the bumper's still off and there's like some dents and some weirdness there. So I got my body guy, Jack, uh, to tell me what we can do about this. I think, honestly, just some screws backed out there and um, yeah, we, we'll just put them back in. We, we found something similar to what's on the other side, so I'm, you know, just put them back in, get it buttoned up the best as possible, and then kind of flex this fender out a little bit and I think it should be good to go. All right. Let me, let me help you here. Oh, thank, thank you. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Haha! -ha! I just needed to use the swivel. Yeah. That probably would have been a good idea. Mm-hmm. From the start. I thought you were a professional. Dude, don't tell anybody. Let's use some handy dandy uh, body shop techniques. Is that, is that how you do it at the body shop? You just take it and, and pull? That's how you get certified. Precise adjustments. Oh, is that calibrated? Yeah. Are those calibrated adjustments? Yeah. See, look. Oh, that's actually not bad. It's pretty flush. Okay, I mean, yeah. you know, it's not perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily pay you for uh, for this. This is a high tech kind of technique here, and see what what I'm doing is I'm not putting all the pressure of my palm on the fender because that would cause a dent. No, I'm actually just using the edge of my hand, which. Still will put a dent, but I'm doing this anyway. So. Jack is making things up. Well, everybody, behind me is a very, very clean Pimp My Ride van. Now, I don't know if everything works on the inside. I wager there's some things that probably don't, but I know that we just replaced both batteries. We did the uh, body work, put some more air in the tires, and it looks like, I mean, it, it looks like new. This is as museum quality as it's gonna be, and that is the important bit because this is actually going to the Peterson Automotive Museum. And that's what I wanted to tell all of you because this van is more than just a van, it's a part of car culture and I want all of you to see it. This has been number one on YouTube's trending, uh, this has been all over my channel, and this has obviously been all over MTV and Pimp My Ride. So you guys deserve to see it and I can't wait for you guys to all see it, but I also can't wait for us to go for a ride. We need to. We need to take this thing for a ride, right? Absolutely. Oh! <laughs> That's it. Squeaks like a dead mouse. It does a little bit. <laughs> Check this out. Dying mouse. Oh, watch out. Boom. All right. And this should open the door. Check out the door. Whoa! It's like magic! Yeah. Ooh. Look at the lighting there. Ooh. So, I think we got... Look at that. <laughs> now, this disco floor actually, um, it does work, but somebody has misplaced the remote control. And it's not here anymore, so I'm looking at Tyler. Uh, I think Tyler has a remote control, <laughs> and that's why a disco floor doesn't work. So we're gonna take that as a given. Um, guys, hop in. Get in! Oh. No time to explain. We're going shopping. <laughs> I 
So what's really cool about this is that uh, it's a full um, luxury experience for you back there, Jack. I'm, I'm digging it. I yeah. got I got a whole light show uh, on the roof here. Unfortunately, the air conditioner does not work because when I got this car, <laughs> perfect. Yeah, I know it's a, it's a little bit warm. It's a little bit warm. So we're gonna roll the windows down. <laughs> you should lift that door open. We're gonna open up the vents for you back there, buddy. Ooh, ooh. Does this that, one open? That, that vent. That vent doesn't work. That vent is that vent well, We got this one. We got this yeah. one. We're good. So, so there we go. We're good. Uh, also, there's a laser light show up up here. Yeah. I don't know if you see it. Pretty uh, awesome. Yeah. Do not put your. Do not look directly into the laser light because <laughs> it will it will mess you up. How's your feet? Is that? They're, they're, oh. Ooh, watch out. Oh yeah. There okay. we go. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. 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 Hold on. A little bit. Perfect. Perfect. Not. Not yet. Nope. Oh, okay. Wait. wait. <laughs> Now, okay, we're good. <laughs> so we have a door ajar warning. That's probably from this. It's not ajar, so I feel like we're okay. Don't worry. We don't have seatbelts back here that are in the middle anyway. We need seatbelts. <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Here I come. <laughs> the good thing about uh, having a car that hasn't run for a while is you can really flog it and uh, give it an Italian tune-up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it runs pretty good. Yeah. Not bad. Let's check the brakes. Woo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. So this van is now clean, things work. Um, one thing that I didn't actually get to test was the audio system. I do know it works. We tested it out with a um, Christmas special CD that we can't put on YouTube because even that will get demonetized. Um, and I tried to connect it to a Bluetooth thing, but for some reason the iPod connector did not work. So. You'll, you'll just have to take my word for it that everything works, but dude, this thing is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> There's no check engine lights, no warning lights of, of any kind. It I mean, it, it, runs, it runs pretty okay. I'm not gonna try to I'm racing. Bra You're bracing already. <laughs> <I'll break. laughs> All right, so we gotta put this in a good place where it's not gonna get uh, damaged or anything because this has to go to the Peterson Automotive Museum where it can get seen by all the good little girls and boys. Okay, so that was a very uh, eventful drive and um, the car is all in one piece and it's looking fantastic. Now, I wanna thank all of you for watching the original series. If you haven't seen the original series where I get this van for 850 bucks and then make it into, well, this, then definitely go check it out. It's in the link in the video description below. I'd also like to thank our sponsor, Craftsman, because we are starting a very nice partnership and they have some amazing tools. So go check that out in the link in the video description below. But I want you to check this car out in person at the Peterson Automotive Museum, and that's coming very, very soon. But until next time, this is me reminding you guys that on cars like these that now have a fourth or fifth lease on life, you should always build them better. And to do that, you should wrench every day. Jack, are you okay? I got a little bit of a rug burn. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs>